Hello, today is going to be uh, part two uh, from my video yesterday about uh, acceptance. And I wanted to make one point clear about acceptance when it comes to, you know, mental illness or, or anything really for that matter. Um, it's not a one-time event. You know, you just don't wake up one day and say, oh, I have bipolar disorder and my life is going to be wonderful now. It's it's not that way. I mean, we know that, but, you know, <sighs> mental illness is so sneaky because sometimes you'll go through periods of time where you feel really, really good and you feel like, wow, you know, you know, I haven't felt this good in a long time. And 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 then, boom, the bottom drops out and you're back in it again. And, and you know, and and no matter what happens, you know, you're not prepared for it. I mean, you know, it, I guess maybe, you know, I've only been really dealing with this for, you know, four years. So maybe after, you know, 10 years or so you, you get used, you get used to it, but, you know, just even after four years, I, I, I never get used to it. <clears throat> you know, I start feeling really good, you know, like the holidays this year, we're going really, really well. And, uh, um, as a family, we had a great time, and and uh, you know, it's one of those times where you know you make memories as a family, and and we know the kids are going to remember, you know, and um, and then you know maybe a week after the holidays, I, I started this episode that I'm still in right now uh, with the mania. It started with the mania, and then I got the depression at the same time, and that's called a bipolar mixed state, where you actually experience mania, the highs, and depression, the lows, at the same time. And I had never experienced that in my journey, and um, wow, <laughs> it kicked my ass. Um, and still is. I mean, that's why yesterday I explained I, I went on lithium at the end of January, and, and that's the, one of the reasons why. Excuse me. I vape. Um, for me, it's better than smoking. But... Uh, You know, so, you know, I think acceptance comes in stages and, and, you know, and I want to tell you one thing too, right off the bat, I am no expert in this. I am just one beggar showing another beggar where the bread line's at. Um, I'm, I'm just another human being um, that's been touched by fire. <laughs> um, I want to see that movie coming out. Um, and you know, I'm nothing special, but I'm a human being and you know, there's such a stigma with mental illness. You need to know that, that you're not junk. You're not broken. Well, yeah. And since we're all broken, but you're not junk, you're not garbage. You're not, you're not, um, less than because of the stigma of mental illness, it's real easy to feel like, you know, you're a piece of trash or a piece of junk, just kind of a throwaway, you know, a misfit, you know, the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the, the little deal there about the island of misfits, you know, um, I always relate to that. Um, but, you know, you're a human being. I'm a human being. And... You have gifts. You have talents. I have gifts. I have talents. Um, I'm at a place right now where I don't see all that, <clears throat> but I know it's true. But I don't. I don't see it. I feel I'm going through a period of time where I feel kind of worthless and 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 just kind of pointless um, in my journey, and and um, and that carries over to what we're talking about, which you know, which. Um, <clears throat> which is acceptance and you know yeah you know when I was in the treatment center in 2012 and 
and uh, um, you know, prior to going into the treatment center, I had overdosed on uh, prednisone and uh, uh, blood pressure medicine and uh, something else, and. Uh, the combination of that and the fact that I was being treated for depression, um, when you're bipolar, you need to be real careful about what antidepressants your doctor prescribes to you because um, sometimes the antidepressants can lead to mania. And one of the diagnoses I got um, in 2012 was antidepressant-induced mania. The, the antidepressants that I was on was actually inducing um, a bipolar mania because I hadn't I hadn't been diagnosed yet um, with bipolar. So my psychiatrist, you know, he, he just you know he prescribed the the anxiety medicine and the and the antidepressant and you know and before you know it, you know I'm 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 in a treatment center and most of the time because this was in July when I when I went into the treatment center of 2012 and for for most of that time for about the first two weeks I have absolutely no recollection whatsoever of the period before and the first week or two that I was in the the treatment center I have I have no memory um, they put me on a bunch of different medication and 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 I remember <clears throat> um, at one point in the treatment center you know, I was calling my my uh, uh, therapist and said, you know, you got to get me out of here. You know, this is horrible and, and I shouldn't be here. And because um, they put me on what's called an emergency detention order, where you know that I was there, and the only way I could get out was in, in with a hearing with a judge, and the judge decided when and. Um, and so obviously I wasn't, you know, in acceptance then. And but at some point in in there, I, I I as I explained yesterday, I came to a place of you know acceptance. And and then you know it was like wow, you know, things started happening, things started rolling because I wasn't fighting anymore. And and that's what it is. You know, and whether you've been mentally ill for or diagnosed as some kind of with some kind of mental illness for a month or 10 years, you know, we all still struggle and and it's OK to struggle. It's the struggle. The struggle is part of of life, um, whether you're mentally ill or not. Um, and to the degree that we struggle it makes the the good times that much more sweeter and and i don't mean you know we should struggle so we can have sweet times <laughs> no um we shouldn't be looking for unnecessary struggling but there does seem to be some kind of spiritual correlation between the depth of despair and hopelessness and isolation and and all of those things that we experience um, when we're on the good side, not the good side, I don't want to say the good side, when we're on the we're, when we're on an even keel and and we feel really good, um, it's really, really good. <laughs> and and that's you know, and, and part of that is too the extremes, you know. It's you know <sighs> the way we are wired we're wired for extremes and so when things are just okay and you know you're not really high and you're not really low sometimes that's really harder to deal with than being really super depressed or super high because we don't know how to deal with just even keel with just yeah you know what this is life and you know things are just kind of moving along and things are okay you know we don't know how to deal with that because our lives have been full of extremes and and so I guess the, the the whole point of the video today, check the time here, um, is just to communicate to you guys that that no acceptance is not like you know I've been describing you know 
mental illness is a journey and and acceptance is not a destination somewhere along the journey acceptance is part of the journey it's not the beginning it's not the end it's 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 the journey acceptance is acceptance really i guess is is the journey and you know we can choose to to like if we picture it like acceptance is the freeway on the journey and and you know at any time we can get off off that freeway of acceptance and into god only knows what and and sometimes we do and sometimes we can't help it sometimes that's just the way we are you know sometimes you're going to get depressed because you're bipolar sometimes you're going to be like so high and so up on top of the world that you think that you just can't do anything wrong and you know and you experience that because you know we're we are bipolar that's that's part of being bipolar that's part of being mentally ill and um that's why we take the medicine or that's why we do um you know exercising and nutrition and herbal supplements or whatever it is that you have to do to treat your illness <clears throat> we want to try to lessen those extremes you know you know we're going to get depressed but we don't have to you know be laying in bed for 10 hours a day you know or we're going to get high we're going to get you know out there and up there and but you know we don't want to get delusional thoughts of grandiosity and you know i'm going to you know i don't know change the world and 10 minutes, you know, <laughs> whatever. Um, you know, so, you know, really, um, <clears throat> acceptance is, is something that, you know, we have to do every day. And, um, um, and yeah, we have the big, we have the big events in our lives where, you know, you're initially diagnosed and, and you go through that and then you start medication or you start your treatment, whatever it is, you know, and you go through that. And, and along the way, there's, you know, like for me, I got diagnosed in July of 2012 and August the 7th of 2012, my father died. I was still... I was still manic. I was going outpatient, and um, and he died. And it wasn't a shock to us. He he'd been sick for a long time, but he was okay. You know, two days before he died, I mean, he was sitting up at the table, and we were all talking to him, and and you know, and then two days later, he was dead. And um, you know, so we so you know, I I worked through that and had a lot of family turmoil during that time too and and it was really hard and got through that went through like a really bad episode of depression dealt with that last year in January um, I w went back to the treatment center and uh, um, and I'll talk more about that uh, later too because that last January was a really key time in my in my recovery uh, and then this past year October I guess it was my mom passed away and you know I had barely even started to scratch the surface as far as grieving my dad and then my mom died and that kind of made the the uh, the unresolved grieving that I I still need to do toward with my father kind of added on to that and I carried that in October and then the holidays came in November you know with, with Thanksgiving and my birthday and then you know Christmas and and maybe that's why I'm where I'm at right now is because you know I had kept all that kind of just bottled up and um, I see a therapist, you know, usually once every two weeks, sometimes once a week, sometimes uh, just once a month. But um, I see her regularly. I have a 
a mental health social worker that actually comes to my house um, every Thursday um, and visits with me and brings information and goes over you know coping skills and and all of that stuff I'm going over 15 minutes so I'm gonna try to wrap it up but you know if you can take one thing away from this video it's this that you're a human being you're loved you're accepted you're you're unique for who you are and and don't let having a mental illness define your identity to the point where you just feel hopeless about who you are you know and I struggle with that daily um, but you know we're, we're we're human beings we're connected we're we're all part of life and um, there's a deeper significance to the connections that we have with each other and you know my big thing is to wrap up um, well take from this video that you're a human being and you're worthy and acceptance is something that we have to do daily and as I said yesterday we all we have is the moment right now this moment right now that's all we have um, they say if you have one foot in tomorrow and the other foot in yesterday you're shitting on now and and you know we don't want to be in tomorrow we don't want to go backwards to yesterday we want to move we want to move forward we want to stay in the now right now right now this very moment that's all we have and if we can teach ourselves to stay in the moment and do the next right thing then things just always tend to fall right into place so remember acceptance is is something we have to do daily and stay in the moment and do the next right thing thank you